Greetings, family, friends, and survivors. Got the panels cleared off, warmed up enough it slid right off. Just above us you could see the difference in temperature. I just called my neighbor and they've got two feet and hasn't even begun to melt there. I think we're kind of transitioning to rain, which is what we're hoping for. Got these panels cleared and these. So six of these together is uh, 1410 watts and then I have the other array which is 1400 watts that's on a PWM. So uh, here in low light actually the sun probably just coming up out of the trees still snowing low light conditions a real world test between the PWM and the MPPT. So two 1400 water rays. I've got 2.8 amps. There we go, 2.8 amps coming in on the PWM. And four, 3.9 to four amps coming in on the MPPT. So 2.8 and 3.9 it's 2.9 now 3.9 and 4 so there's your difference just about one more amp out of a MPPT and so I'll calculate the exact difference for you and it's looking to me like that's 25 percent just looking at it without crunching the numbers so 25 percent in a, a low light situation the MPPT outperforms the PWM now when the, it's full Sun on a hot day they probably are the same but most of the Pacific Northwest deals with this even in the summertime so an MPPT in the Pacific Northwest I'm sure convinced now that it definitely is worth the money 25% is a lot. All right, have a blessed day.